Growing up, hash browns were a rare occurrence in my house. We only had them during the holiday season. However, they were my favorite breakfast food, so I made it my goal to figure out how to make them whenever I wished. After a couple of years, I have succeeded in creating the perfect recipe. Hello, my name is Alexis Rose Young, and today I'm going to teach you all how to make homemade hash browns. We will start with our mise en place, which is assembling all of the things you will need in prepping your food before you cook it. And then we are going to cook our food and then we will serve our food. All right, moving on to our mise en place. So we are going to start with our potatoes. I use about one potato per a person. So I have five potatoes I'm gonna use today because I have five people in my household. It takes about 20 minutes to prep all this and about 20 to 15 minutes to cook the hash browns, just so you have a time reference on there. And then you are going to need some oil for your pan to cook your hash browns in. You are going to need a grater and then you're going to need a peeler to peel your potatoes, all right? And then you will need some teaspoons to measure some seasonings out. Now, your first step is gonna be washing your potato and then peeling your potato, and then you're going to grade your potatoes. As you can see, I have already grated my potatoes, and I already have my measurements of my seasonings out. So I have th about three-fourths a teaspoon of salt I'm gonna throw in there about half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and about half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Now, I already washed my hands, and what you're gonna do is you can use a spoon or you can just get in there and mix it up with your hands. Also, seasonings are kind of a taste preference, so if you like your food a little bit more salty, feel more than welcome to add more salt, or if you like less salt, do so, and the garlic is optional, so if you don't like garlic, you do not have to add the garlic. All right, now that it's done, we're gonna move on to cooking it. All right, so you're gonna come over here. You see how I have my pan covered in oil at the bottom there? I'm gonna turn it on to four, and then I'm gonna wait for it to heat up. So I'm gonna wait about three minutes because I don't want my potatoes to be soggy when I put them on and just absorb the oil. I want them to get a nice crusty layer. All right, we'll check back in soon. All right, now our pan is hot. I'm gonna throw our hash browns on. You hear that? That's the sound you wanna hear, a nice crackling. If it doesn't crackle, your pan's not hot enough and it's not ready to go. All right, we're gonna check in with our hash browns in about five more minutes to check if they're golden brown, and we're gonna cook them until they're golden brown. So, see you in five. All right, it's been about five minutes, and I'm checking the hash browns now, and they're slightly golden brown, but they're not as crunchy as I want to be, so I'm gonna leave them to cook for another five minutes, and we'll check in then. All right, it's about five minutes later, and I shake it, and I, I really tell it's ready to go. So, this is how I'm gonna flip it. You can either use your spatula, or you can do it this way. Ready, steady, go. Oh, I flipped it too hard. <laughs> be ready to serve. It's been about five minutes. Our hash browns are now ready to serve. So you can serve them either in the pan or you can serve them on a platter or a plate. I'm just going to take mine straight from the pan like this. I'm just going to use my spatula and then I cook the pancake and some bacon earlier and the hash browns are going to go nicely with that. So I'm just going to pick them up. All right, beautiful. And then you can also put uh, apple, banana, berries, any type of fruit you want to go with this. And you can also remove the bacon and put ham 
and you can remove the pancakes and put eggs. All right. To conclude, I showed you all how to make some fantastic homemade hash browns. From how to do your mise en place to cooking the hash browns to perfection. And lastly, the different ways you can serve them. With this recipe in mind, you are sure to be a hit during this holiday breakfast season. Delicious. To quote Julia Child, people who love to eat are always the best people. Happy holidays.